Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. The name that is above every other name. At the mention of Jesus' name, every knee in this house has bowed. Every need in our life has bowed. Every tongue is confessing Amen. continuously that yes. Jesus is Lord. Lord in this service. Lord in our home. Lord in our finances. Lord over our family. Mm. Lord over nations of the world. Jesus, you are Lord. Father, we cover our spirit, soul, body with the blood of Jesus. And with the blood of Jesus. We overcome every power of the enemy in yes. the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And with the blood of Jesus, better testimonies are received. Mm. We overcame the enemy by the blood of the Lamb and, and the words of our testimony. The blood of Jesus mm. that speak better testimonies yes, than that of Abel yes, shall speak for you this morning. Mm. It shall speak for you this morning. Amen. The blood is speaking for you this morning. Yes, in the name of the Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father. We bless your name now and forevermore. Amen and amen. amen. Please be seated. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You didn't respond. I say hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God for Restoration Chapel International. You didn't say amen because... Amen. I'm talking about you. When I say Resurrection Chapel International, it's about you. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So say a big amen for amen, yourself. Amen, amen. Yeah, we thank God for the prophet and the prophetess of the house. Amen. And the ministers of the gospel. Hallelujah. And I thank God for the MC mm. who made such a <laughs> <laughs> surprising remarks about me. <laughs> Ah, we thank God. In fact, it's a surprise you are seeing me. Oh, yes. Because I left not long ago. Mm. And I, I came back. Amen. Unannounced. <laughs> on notice. Hallelujah. <laughs> unannounced and on, you have added on notice. <laughs> so I just sneak in. Somebody say he just sneak in. Just sneak in. But God has a word for Amen. you. Amen. God has a word for you. Yes, Lord. God has a word for God you. God has a word for me. You know, I left here about a month ago, went back to Ghana, and I was involved in so many issues, going up and down. And one day, I visited a church. A friend invited me on Easter Sunday to preach for him. And I went to that church, and uh, the Lord did some miracles in the church. I called somebody to pray for her. And he was laughing at me. <laughs> I said, lady, the Lord said I should pray for you. And he was laughing. <laughs> I said, it's not a joke. He don't laugh. He was laughing. I said, let me pray. I prayed for this lady. The power of God fell upon this lady. And then he started running away from me. When I'm coming, he's running. Unfortunately, the door was locked. So he go and hit the wall and come back. I said, receive it. Today, the fire of God is going to work in this service. I, you, you, don't, you didn't hear what I said. The fire of God. Amen. Last night, the Lord revealed something to me. I was going to do something, and the man of God, the minister of God, Pastor Ishud, he came to me. He said, when you go there, light the fire. Amen. And when I lighted the fire, I, I heard things that were being bent. Poverty, sickness, disease, infirmity. And, and as the light was, it was burning like that. And when it's burning, it's saying that poverty is burned. Sickness is burned. Disease is burned. And I've never seen something like that before. Amen. Amen. And I said, wow. He said, I should light three of them. And everyone was saying, burning something. Today, something in your life shall burn Amen. in the name of Jesus. Something in your life shall burn in the name of Jesus. Amen. And thank God that this day before I go into a service, the Lord showed me what to do sometimes. Last week Sunday, I was preaching in Church of God in Lashipi. And when I was praying, the Lord revealed something to me. And there were some ladies. In the, in the dream, I saw that these ladies were there, young ladies. 
And I was to pray for them. As I was about to lay my hands on them, Pastor Isud appeared. He said, don't lay your hands on this one. And he laid his hands on the person. Like this, he did this. When he took the hands, I prayed for that lady. And the lady turned to, turned to be a snake. In the dream. It's in the dream. Then, I said, fire. Then I took a knife. I don't know how it happened. I cut this snake into pieces. Like that. Then, there was another one also. Then that person also, Oh, I realized that a snake is in a fire and being burnt. Today, any serpent spirit, any snake in your life, any serpent in your life, the fire of God shall burn it in the name of Jesus. And I've never seen something like that before. I saw this snake burnt. So when I was in the service, I saw these three ladies. And they were very young. All of them very young, sitting at one place. So I called them after the service and I saw the fire of God and the power of God upon this lady's life one of them, eh, the one I saw I saw well and the fire he started running, I spent over 20 minutes on here alone so today, I'm not here by accident Amen. like he rightfully said, said I came here on purpose and God has something for you. Amen. And God is about to do something in your life. And God is about to do something in your family. And God is about to change something in your life. God is about to bend something in your life. God is about to set you free. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. This lady. Wonderful lady. Show your hands. Last time I came here. The lady came to me for me to pray for her. And I prayed for the lady. When I finished, as I was preaching, praying, the face changed. The face changed, started shining, brighter. The face started bright. I said, what? I've never seen this thing like that. I said, ah, all of you were here when he came. We saw the face. But look at the face now. It's changed. It changed. Another lady also came. The face changed. And the previous week, I saw them. Their face look wonderful. And today, I, I was just watching, and I see that still, he looks younger. Hallelujah. Today, the power of God is going to touch your life, and you will never be the same in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus, the power of God shall touch your life. You can go on and on and on and on. I'm telling you this because I'm preaching on a very important topic. And I've been talking, preaching about God rules in the kingdom of men. And God rules in your affair. And today, the Lord tell, told me to tell you that. Have an expectation. Amen. Tell somebody have an expectation. I was giving you this testimony so that you have an expectation. God say have an expectation. For when expectation meets expectation, the glory of God is revealed. The power of God is manifested. Have an expectation. I want you to live in a state of expectancy. Expect something to come upon your life. Expect the anointing of God to come upon your life. Expect the fire of God to burn something in your life. Live in a state of expectancy. Have an expectancy. Amen. Have an expectancy. Expect God to do something in your life. Amen. Most of the time, we expect the devil to do something in our lives. We expect the Lord to, the devil to hurt us. We expect the, the devil to bring trouble upon our life. We, our expectations are wrong. Mm. Ah. <laughs> yes, have an expectation. Yes, Tell somebody, have an expectation from God. Mm. Have an expectation from God. Expect God to touch your life. Today I'm preaching with you. When I say it, you tell your brother or your sister by you. Have an expectation. Mm, yes, Lord. 
Today, expectation is going to meet expectation. Expect God to speak through me to touch your life and change things. Have an expectation that as I minister to you today, God will touch your life. God will bless your life. Something will come out of me and touch you. You will never be the same. Have an expectation. Expectation can meet expectation. And there shall be miracle. There shall be signs and wonders. Have an expectation that today God is going to talk to you. God is going to touch your life. God is going to metamorphose you. God is going to renew you. God is going to strengthen you. God is going to heal you. Have an expectation. I came from Ghana with a message from God that have an expectation for the expectation of the righteous shall never be cut short. Hey, 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 hey. I have good news for you. You are a righteous person. Have an expectation. I have good news for you. The expectation of the righteous shall never be cut short. Any expectation that you have as a righteous person, it can never be cut short. Nobody can stop it. Nobody can deny it. No devil, no witcher can cut your expectation. Have an expectation. Yes, Lord. Yes, Daddy. Yes. Have an expectation. Yes. The expectation of the righteous shall, not. shall never be cut short. Yes, yes. You come here with an expectation. Yes, Lord. People who have expectation, mm. they will not dodge because the prophet is travel. My they God, come to my a God. service yes. with an expectation. My God. They, are, they know God. that where two or three people God. are gathered, uh, yes. that is where God is. Uh. When you have an expectation yes. and you are coming to church, uh, you know, you know, you know, two people meeting yes. together in the name of Jesus. God is there. And if God is here, God will touch your life. God will change your life. God will metamorphose your life. God will renew your strength. God will heal your disease. God will give you strength. Yes. Have an expectation. My God, my God, have an expectation. Have an expectation. God, God. Expectation is needed. Uh, when you come to God, uh, the Bible says, whoever comes to God uh, must know, must know that God is uh, a and is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Uh, if you seek God with expectation, you must know that God is there and yes. he will reward you. Uh, today, 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 anybody who came here, I have good news for you. Yes, God is going to reward your my coming. God. God is going to reward your coming. God is going to reward you. Uh, those who diligently seek God, uh, they seek God with yes. expectation. Uh, and God come through for them. Uh, today, 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 God will come through for you. Yes, God will come through for you. God will come through yes, for you. Lord. God will touch your life. God will renew your strength. Ah. God will bless your life. God will give you money. God will give you breakthroughs that you never thought of. Receive it in Jesus' name. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You don't do church because of yes. because of yes. Somebody. When the prophet is not here, oh my God, his spirit is here. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The prophet spirit <laughs> followed people. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Da, 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 Thank you, Jesus. And Elijah said, mm -hmm. "Did my spirit not follow you?" Mm. Yes, yes. Mm. Jesus is Lord. Jesus Elijah. is Lord. His spirit was following. Yes. Elisha, <laughs> he told his servant, did my spirit not Kata, follow pata, you? Pata, pata, pata. When I rejected those things, did my spirit not follow you? Mm. You went and called them. When I say the spirit of the prophet is following you, it is in the Bible. Yes. It is. The spirit of the prophet is here this morning. Yes. And he's here this morning. Yes. And he can see what is going my on. God, in the God. name of Jesus. Because yes. it is not by might nor by power. It's oh, by the spirit of the living God. Thank you, Jesus. I have good news for you. Thank you, Jesus. Have an expectation. Mm. Have an expectation. Yes, daddy, yes, daddy, yes, Lord. How can you come to God and, and God. does not expect God to do anything mm. for you? Uh, if my you are God, like that, God, repent today. Mm. Repent, repent, yes, repent. Yes, daddy, yes, you have daddy. come to God. Uh, mm. He is and is going to reward you. Uh, reward so have an expectation mm. that today God will reward you. Uh. Ah, have an God. expectation that God will you you will ah. never you will never leave his presence the same. My you will God, never leave God's God, presence the same. God. The prophetess is here, yes. the power of God is upon her, yes. the ministers are here, yes. the power of God is upon your yes. life. As we have come together, ah. anointing has joined anointing. Favor has joined favor. Grace has joined
John Silver and God's power shall explode yes. this morning in your life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can I can I close? I lent you are in a hurry. Can I close? <laughs> he can Thank, you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Look, your expectation, Bible says, shall never, never be cut short. God. So, what are you expecting God to do for you? Mm. Are you expecting healing? It shall never be cut short. Mm. Are you expecting money? It shall, it shall never be never cut be short. Easy. Are you expecting anointing? It shall never be. Whatever the righteous yes. is expecting, Koto. nobody can cut it nobody, short. Nobody, no power. No. If I don't take care, I won't preach. Hmm. So, you write it when you go home. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 18. Yes. It says, The expectation of the righteous shall, shall not, not be cut short. Hmm. The expectation of the righteous yes, shall not be. So have an expectation. Tell somebody, Your expectation shall never be cut short. So have an expectation. My God, my God. Have an expectation. Tell somebody, Have an expectation. Mm. For it shall never. Yes. When you, see, uh, 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 you have lawyers here, okay. When the word shall is used, it's a serious word. Mm -hmm. Anytime you are signing a document and the word shall is written, be careful. Mm. It means you cannot redraw, you cannot change it. And God is mindful of His words, his word. so He's saying that your expectation shall never be cut short. Period. It's a legal term. Mm. It's an enforceable word. It shall never. When you go look at your dictionary, and if God say it shall, it shall not. Thank you, Jesus. This morning, I come to talk about women. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> Jesus is Lord. <laughs> women are very powerful. My God, my God. Mm? But sometimes we underestimate them. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Have an expectation. Mm. Have an expectation. <laughs> Have an, an expectation. expectation. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. Have an expectation. Thank you, Jesus. Have an expectation. The power of women. God speaks. Anointed women. Mm. Blessed women who bring changes to the world. Yes, when men fail, it is where men are strong, women are stronger. Mm. Oh, you, you didn't clap God, because you, when we are weak, yeah. they are strong. When men are weak, women are stronger. The Lord is when you close from work and you are so tired, a woman is still working. <laughs> It's a cabal. Oh, clap for the women. <laughs> they are so powerful. Clap for them. Clap for them. Clap for them. Clap for them. Yes. They are wonderful people. Sometimes I, I, I wonder where they get their strength. <laughs> we men think we are stronger. But, <clears throat> say but. Lord. They are strong. If you like, <laughs> let them give you that baby to carry in the night. <laughs> For 30 minutes, you know. After 30 minutes, you know. After one hour, they say, still keep the child. Ah, and the child doesn't want this way. You want to be on your neck. I said, wow. God save the man. Say, God save the man. I tried it some time ago. And I concluded that these women are stronger. Yes, Lord. Because the baby sucked the bread. And then carry, mm. and then change the number, mm. change everything. Hey, hey, who told you they are not strong? Hey, hey. Who, told who told you they are not anointed? <laughs> who told you it was only ladies who were told you are highly? Oh, oh you, add, you are highly. <laughs> oh, I never heard. Oh, I, I, if I have to recall it, <laughs> that God. somebody was told you are highly favored. You are high it was a woman who was told you are highly favored. Any woman here today, I want to assure yes, you, come with the expectation that you are highly favored. 
and it was God talking to a woman. He said, You are highly, you are highly, oh, women, respond, respond, respond. You are highly favored. I call myself Obaba, which means a woman's son. Jesus. Because women are special, they, lo they are lovely, they are kind, they are full of everything. We are hard, we are tough. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Look at how he was walking. Up. I nearly say, receive the power. <laughs> but we have just started the service. <laughs> don't, don't cross me when I'm preaching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give a clap offering to women. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It is. It was last week was Mother's Day, mm. and I, 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 I was I was invited. I met the ladies' ministry of our church, Church of God. They said, Ah, even though you have a service somewhere, please come to the headquarters church. When you come, you make us happy. You make us proud. So today I came here to make a woman happy, proud, and... Amen! Contrary to what people say about you, you are not. You are strong. You are powerful. You are glorious. You are lovely. You are kind. You have power. You have... Women has power. And I, I, I gave a book to them. Woman's Power. When you read that book, you will come down. When you come home and a woman prepare a nice meal for you, who told you they don't have power? If you like, prepare the same food and we shall see. <laughs> if you like, try it. How you'll be tired. Even if you're able to come close, you'll be very, very tired. That's why few men are chefs. <laughs> When I continue, the men will not, will not like me, so I have to go ahead and, and, and do what I'm supposed to do. I'm preaching on the topic, have an expectation. Amen. And because I'm preaching on this topic, I want you to live in a state of expectancy. Amen. That the word of God shall never be cut off. Come to, the word of God hmm. will never come to you. Without performing yes, what God yes, wanted yes. to do. Have an expectation. Yes. Have an expectation. When God's word comes to you, it does not return oh to him God. void. Oh my God. It causes a performance yes. in your life. Yes. Have an expectation. I'm going to preach the word of God to you. I'm going to speak the word of God yes, to you. Lord. And God says, my word shall never return to me void. It shall I cause a performance in your life. Yes. Have an expectation that the word my of God, God coming to you my this God. afternoon, yes. it shall have a cause a performance. It shall cause a performance. Say, tell somebody it shall cause a performance. It shall, it shall never return to God yes. void. Uh. God. It shall never return to That's God void. Uh. It shall cause a performance in your life. And he challenge you and say, as the rain cometh from heaven, and what let the earth uh, and give food uh, and yes. give fruit to yes. us to yes. eat uh, yes. so shall my word be yes. this morning have expectation the word of god shall cause a performance it shall oh. nourish you it shall flourish you it shall bless you it shall never return to god void uh. hey, 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 hey 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 listen to me the word of god shall never return to god void my god it will water you yes shall water your life. Thank you, Jesus. Have an expectation. Anytime you open your Bible, yes, Lord. know that the word of God coming to you yes. shall never return to you. Yes. Have an expectation when you oh open the Bible. Mm. I know a group of people, I mean, before they type their book, they have to wash their hands before they <laughs> touch it. You have the liberty to open it 24-7. And you don't expect God to do anything for that book for you. Jesus. Ha, ha, say why? <laughs> say mm. Mm. today change your life. Yes, Lord. Yes. Today change your life. Yes. Change your ways. Yes. Expect God to talk mm. to you when you take the book. Amen. When I was coming, my wife told me that they said the weather is not good. 
I said, God will change the weather for me. He said, how? I said, God will change the weather for me. So when I landed, the weather was very nice. I said, Joshua, call my wife and tell her that the weather, God has changed it for me. When you live in expectation that God can do anything for you, you can pray any prayer. Yes. Hallelujah. You can pray any prayer because you know and you have expectation that God is listening to you. If you have an expectation, God says in Matthew chapter 7 verse 7, say us and you will receive. <laughs> have an expectation. Us and you will receive. Uh, have an expectation. Uh, seek and you will find. Uh, have an expectation. Knock and it shall be open to you. Have an expectation. Who, who's, whoever his son asks for bread will give him a stone. Uh, have expectation. When you ask for money, God is not going to give you poverty. Uh, have an expectation. When you ask for fish, uh, God is not going to give you a stone uh, or a snake. Uh, have an expectation. God says, have have an expectation. What you ask, I will give you. Uh, have an expectation. Those who have expectation can pray unceasingly. The Bible says pray unceasingly. When you have expectation, uh, when you are praying, uh, you know who you are talking to. Yes. You know you are talking to the almighty God. You know you are talking to the one who created the whole universe. Uh. You know the one who called things that are not to be in existence. Uh. You know, you know, you know. So prayer become a habit. Uh. Prayer becomes a life. Uh, your life where will depend on prayer because you know, you know, you know, you know. When you ask, you will receive. Uh, yes. This morning, whatever you want, ask and God will give you. Uh, and God say, for all that long, uh, you have not asked anything. Uh, ask and I will give you. Uh, and your joy will be full. Uh, yes. The reason why your joy is not full is that you don't want to ask. Uh, you don't want to seek. Uh, you don't want to knock. Uh, you don't want to say, God, 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 break through for me. Mm. Hallelujah. I sat in the airplane <clears throat> last week, Monday, from Kumasi to Accra. Some of the flight has been cancelled. But my flight, I said, no way. I got to the airport, it was delayed for some time. The, 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 the pilot said, the weather, it will be bumpy. We are crying, so no good. I said, Holy Ghost, I'm in this plane. Holy Ghost, I'm here. Holy Ghost, I'm here. Holy Ghost, I'm here. Holy Ghost, I'm here. It was one of the smoothest flights I've enjoyed from Kumasi to Accra. Ah, say, hey, hey, hey. I can pray about some things you don't believe I'll do. Sometimes I'm in the plane and the pilot will announce. It's going to be turbulence. I say, I refute it in Jesus' name. <laughs> I'll sound crazy, but whatever, whatever means, whatever means, whatever, whatever means, whatever. so I can act whatever. Yes. <laughs> it's not some things. It's whatever. I say, <laughs> Sometimes I do things as if I'm crazy. Yeah, I'm crazy for God. Yes. I, sometimes I'll be going to the school to yes. minister. Then there's traffic. I tell the driver, Holy Ghost, clear the traffic. Clear the traffic. And you will be looking at me as if I am mad. Yes. But by the time we get, we will see a traffic in front of us. By the time we cross that traffic, the traffic is cleared. Thank you, Jesus. I can pray about anything. Because it is part of whatever. Yes. Say pray about anything because it's part of whatever. Whatever. And in this flight, what happened was that when I got down, then there was this Alaji sitting on my left. I said, Alaji. <laughs> no, I said, please. Uh, he's an elderly person. Get down first. He said, no, you get down. I said, why? You get down. He said, no. Why should I get down first when you prayed for us to get this smooth flight? I said, how did this man know? Because I didn't open my mouth. Oh, I was saying that Holy Ghost, I'm here. Holy Ghost, I'm here. But how can he know that I prayed and he enjoyed the flight? 
Hey, 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 I have good news for you. Everywhere that you go, if you have an expectation that when you pray, God will answer you, you will pray and pray and pray and see the manifestation of God. You are expecting to get money. Pray for money. Pray for money. Pray for money. You want to be healer. Pray for healing. Anything that God has promised you. Hey, hey, hey. Have an expectation for no matter how many the promises of God are, they are yes and amen. Have an expectation expectation now the promise of god stands short to perform have the expectation now have an expectation i have an expectation from god for god is well able god is a well able have an expectation now god is well able to do far more exceedingly abundantly than what you can think of or perceive of have an expectation eyes have not seen Yes, I've not heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of man. What God has prepared for you. Uh, have an expectation. Have an expectation. What God is about to do for you. Nobody has seen it before. Nobody has heard it before. It has never come to this world. God will do it for you. Uh, have an expectation. Have an expectation. Have an expectation. says your expectation will not be cut short. And God loves you. I will close. Ellie. Psalm 62 verse 5. My soul, wait patiently for God alone. For my expectation is from God. Put it there, brother. Are you not happy with me? No. Psalm. Okay, please, this translation, fire rest, oh my soul. God alone. My hope comes. Which which translation is this? Please, I don't want an IV. Sometimes they, they change it. My 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 translation is here. King James. King James. King James. Yeah. My soul wait only down. Only. only upon God. Hmm. Read it. My soul wait thou only upon God for my expectation is from him. Is from God. In my God. Is from God. Oh, yes, Lord. Your expectation. Where, where, where is your expectation come from? Who are you expecting to bless you? Who, who are you expecting to heal you? Uh, if you are expectation from God, shout the loudest amen. And Hallelujah. the summons and the summons. Uh, the summons said, uh, my soul wait patiently for the Lord. Uh, he alone I'm waiting for. Mm. For my expectation is from him. Uh, I expect God to bless your life. I expect God to heal your life. I expect God to deliver you from evil. Your expectation is from the Lord. Expect God to do miracles in your life. Hey, 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 Expect a miracle from God. He is a miracle worker. He is the promise keeper. Expect God to keep his promises. Sir. Any promise that you see in the Bible, expect God to see it through in your life. If you are the one, receive it in Jesus' name. My expectation is from them. Some, some of your expectation is from your grandfather. <laughs> Your husband is from <laughs> your expectation is from man. Mm. You need your husband. Your expectation is from the Lord. God, give me the best <laughs> husband. <laughs> God, give me yes, a best Lord, husband. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. God, give me a God fearing husband. Yes. Give me, give me, Lord. Uh, my expectation is from you. Uh, yes, give me the best man. Give me the best woman. My expectation is from you. Uh, it's not from man. It's not from woman. It's not from any place. Yes. My expectation comes from the Lord. My yes. I will lift up my eyes onto, onto the hills. The from when does my help come? My help coming from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Yes. My expectation is from the Lord. Yeah, my eyes I lift unto you, Lord. My expectation comes from you. That somebody lift up your eyes lift up your eyes unto the lord unto your help coming from yes the lord. lord yes lord expect god to do something for you ah we have waited upon man for far too long 
It's time for God's power. It's time for God's power. Yes, Lord. Hey, hey, hey. Ah. After all, after all, I have good news for you. The dictionary meaning for God uh, is the one who can do what man cannot do. Uh. So if your expectation is from God, uh, he's about to do what man cannot do for you. Uh. What man cannot do for you, God shall do it for you. God shall do it for you. Your expectation coming from the Lord. He made heaven and earth. Uh, he will not suffer thy food to be removed. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Hey! I say, hey! Have an expectation from God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Talk Lord. about two ladies who had an expectation and are close. Open your Bible to Luke chapter 1. Ah. <laughs> Luke chapter 1. Look chapter 1. Look chapter 1. Make from form 45 coming. He did it, but I could die. 45 coming down. Low on 45. Have an expectation. We all know the Christmas story. Have an expectation. <laughs> we, know, we all know the John the Baptist story. Have an expectation. You know, when the angel went to man, man, the so called strong man, he doubted God. And God punished him. He became dumb. But when it's, it's not, the angel went to Mary, Mary. Zachariah, mm -hmm. <laughs> even though he was a prophet, even though he was a pious man, mm -hmm. even though he was anointed, even though he was what he was, he doubted God. Mm -hmm. But when he went to this lady, unassuming. Mm. There's no story about this lady. Mm. Nobody knows. Her. Mm. He is walking on the wild side. Uh, <laughs> he is somewhere else. Uh. Yes. Oh, who is engaged by a certain man? Uh. <laughs> and then the angel went to Mary and he said, Mary, 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 you are going to give birth to a son. Uh. He said, how can Thank this you, be? <laughs> Knowing, seeing that I know yes. not a man. Uh. Today I hear you saying that how can this be? <laughs> Hey, 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 but have an expectation from God. Have an expectation from God. And he said, this shall come by the power of oh. the Holy Ghost. The power of God shall overshadow you. Uh, hey, 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 have an expectation from God. The power of the Holy Ghost shall overshadow you. And mm. as it overshadow you, uh, yeah, you give birth to something special. Yes. You give birth to a husband. Mm. You give birth to a wife. You give birth to money. You give birth to breakthrough. You but give birth to that. healing. The power of God shall come upon you. Yes, the power of God shall come oh upon you. God. This morning oh I came with God. the power of God taking over your life uh, to put some, yes, bring something Lord. out of your life. Receive the power of God. Receive the power of the Holy Ghost. It shall overshadow you. Go ahead and read. And blessed is she that believed. For there shall be a performance of those things which we are told her from the law. You mm. didn't hear, so you didn't say amen. amen. <laughs> Whatever I'm telling you this morning, whatever word of God you have heard this morning, the word of God is saying that blessed is you that believe. Yes. For, for there the shall be, be a performance, performance of those things that the Lord has told you. Uh, there shall be a performance of what I'm telling you. That your expectations shall not be cut short. Uh, the Lord has blessed you with all spiritual blessings. Uh, there shall be a performance. Uh, it shall not fail. It shall not fail. Uh, God said you shall be the head and not the tail. Uh, if you believe uh, and have expectation, uh, it shall never come short. Uh, it shall never be put Jesus. to shame. Uh, it shall be a performance. Uh, there shall be a performance. Uh, there shall be a performance. Yes. You will be the head and not the tail. Above and never be this, this, the, the knee, be neither. There shall be a performance. Mm. Whatever you touch shall be blessed. There shall be a performance. Whatsoever you set your feet, God will give it to you. Yes, if you believe, there shall be a performance. If you have an expectation, there shall be a performance. By the stripes of Jesus, we were healed. If you believe, there shall be healing. Receive your healing. Yes. Receive your healing. For there shall be. Yes. 
a performance of those things uh, which were told you uh, by the Lord, by the Lord. Uh, I'm speaking the word of God to you this morning. Uh, there shall be a performance, there shall be a performance. You will get a husband, you will get a husband, you will get a husband. There shall be a performance. Uh, if you believe, there shall be a performance. Uh, you will get a husband, you will get a wife, you will get a child, you will get money, receive money. Oh, you didn't receive it. You don't know how to 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 receive it. Hey, I receive it. I receive it. Yes, Lord. I receive it. Yes, Lord. I receive money. Yes, Lord. I receive dollars. Yes, Lord. I receive pounds. Yes, I receive euros. I receive every currency. I receive gold. I receive diamonds. I receive. God says, I will give you hidden treasures of nations of the world. Receive hidden treasures. Receive hidden treasures. Receive hidden treasures. In the name of Jesus. Continue to read and let's go fast. Hadam. Yes. The next verse. Blessed is she that believeth, for there shall be a performance of those things which we are told of her from the Lord. Verse 46. And Mary said, My soul doth magnify the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, my God. I thought somebody would be saying, my soul magnify my the Lord. For what I've heard shall come to yes, pass. Yes. Let your soul magnify ah. the Lord. Uh, for there shall be a performance yes, of the works of God coming to you. Uh, let your soul open your mouth uh, and bless the Lord. Uh, and say, hallelujah. What you have said about yes, me, Lord. it shall come to pass. My soul magnify my the Lord. My soul magnify the Lord. I praise you, Lord. Uh, I will bless the Lord at all time. Uh, his praise shall continually be be in my mouth. He is my blesser. He is my exceedingly great reward. I have an expectation from God. He will bless you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Continue, continue. Fast, fast. Next verse. And my spirit has rejoiced in God my, sal my Savior. Oh. Hmm. Say, oh. Oh. Let your spirit have an expectation. Yes, Lord. Let your spirit rejoice in the Lord. The Lord your Savior. Let your spirit, let your spirit, let your spirit rejoice in the Lord your Savior. Not in the, in the man. Not in your situation. Don't, don't be grieved. Uh, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Uh, so rejoice in the Lord. Uh, again I say rejoice in the Lord. Uh, and he say my spirit uh, have rejoiced in my God. Uh, this morning I came with good news for you. Uh, have an expectation of from God uh, and rejoice in the Lord always. Ah. Again, I say rejoice. Uh, and Mary said, I rejoice in this God. Uh, I rejoice in him uh, because when he say it, it shall come to, to pass. There shall be a performance of, of what he has said. Concerning my so I will rejoice. My God. Anybody who knows I call something separating your victory before it happens. Hmm. If you know God, hmm. when you say, I'll bless you, you walk as if you are blessed. Yes. You do everything, you are blessed. You speak, you are blessed. You mm. talk, you are blessed. You do things, Maka, you are blessed. Pata, pata, pata. And then people will think, ah, sometimes you say things. Ah, I had a cousin back home when we were young. He said, I'll buy a Mercedes Benz and I'll stay behind the car and hold it. Ah, and the driver will be driving me with a bow tie, a white shirt. And I <laughs> say, ah, when he said it, those days we were laughing at him. But lo and behold, ah, he, knew, he knew what he was saying. Ah, not long before, ah, I was talking to my senior brother. I said, Frank, ah, he said, are ah, the one who used to say this. Uh. Then I recollected what he used to say. Uh. He said, I'll build a nice house. Uh. I went to his house. It was nice. Uh. I'll buy a Mercedes Benz. Uh. And it's a Mercedes, Mercedes Benz. Uh. And somebody was driving him. Hey, have an expectation from God. And when you have expectation, speak it. Uh. Speak it. Don't care what people say. What yes, people say. Speak your expectation yes. to pass. Speak your expectation to pass. And he kept on speaking. Uh. An Thank expectation you, from God. Thank you, Jesus. Go, go ahead. For he had regarded the low estate of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. Stop. Mm. You see, he was speaking her expectation. Mm. He was saying that from henceforth 
all generation shall call me blessed. Yes. He was prophesying upon himself. Upon her, right. This morning, I want you to prophesy upon on your, upon yourself upon that from henceforth, uh, all generations shall call you yes, blessed. Uh, from today onwards, uh, you have an expectation that all generation, generation yet unborn, uh, shall yes. call you blessed, Lord. shall call your family blessed, shall call your children blessed. And Mary spoke this word uh, mm. and said, uh, He Papa. had regarded me. Uh, hey, today you may be in the lowest estate. Uh, mm. Today you may be sick, uh, but I've good news for you. God has regarded you. Uh, God has regarded you. Uh, God has regarded you. Uh, and behold, uh, from henceforth, uh, all generations shall call you blessed. Uh, have an expectation. From today onwards, uh, all generations shall call you blessed. Uh, have an expectation. Uh, speak blessings upon your life. Speak blessings upon your families. Speak blessings upon your finances. Uh, speak blessings upon your children. Uh, speak blessings upon the church. Uh, and it shall come to pass uh, that all generations shall call you blessed. Uh, from henceforth, uh, your address has changed. Uh, your position has changed. Uh, your curses have been removed. Uh, oh, from henceforth, from henceforth. Every low estate that you find yourself mm. in, uh, it has been changed. Uh, and all generations uh, shall call me blessed. Go on, go, go. They are closing. The next verse. Yes. For he that is mighty hath done to me great things, and holy is his name. Today, mm. have an expectation from God. For he that is mighty. Mm. Oh, you didn't understand. <laughs> you don't get it. <laughs> For he. That is mighty. mighty Had done, done great things for you. Yes, for he that is mighty, <laughs> mighty than anything. Uh, the mightiest, the mightiest, mightiest, mighty uh, has done great things for you. Uh, has done. Hey, 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 hey uh, we don't want to respond. Has done great things for you. Receive the great things God has done for you. Uh, I want to preach. Uh, for he that is mighty. <laughs> Uh, this word, I love it. Yes, Lord. For he, that is say for mighty. he, for he, that is mighty. That is mighty. Has done great Has things. Has done great me. things. And there shall be a manifestation. There shall be a performance. In Jesus' name. Yes, we receive it. In Jesus' name. We receive it. Continue. I'm finishing. Mm, mm, mm. And his mercy is on them that fear him from generation. To generation have an expectation from God for his mercies. Mercy. Oh God. Mm. For his mercies. Yes. Have an expectation from God. Mm. Say for his mercies. Mercy. They are new every morning. <laughs> for his mercies. Uh, when the when the clock clicks 12, one second, new mercies you receive. Uh, receive new mercies today. Receive her. Uh, for he has done he has been merciful unto you. Those who fear the Lord, uh, he will be merciful unto you from generation to generation. Ah. God will be merciful unto you. To your children, children, children. Receive the mercy of God and hey, 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 hey. have an expectation from God uh, by the mercies of God uh, you will not be consumed uh, by the mercies of God uh, you will not be consumed uh, by the mercies of God uh, you will not be consumed uh, great is his faithfulness towards you uh, have an expectation from oh, God amen. by the mercies of God you are not consumed uh, I came to prophesy to you that because of his compassionate love because of his mercies uh, you will never be consumed uh, Sickness cannot consume you. Poverty cannot consume you. Witches and wizards and tantas divinators, by the mercies of God, have an expectation from God. They cannot consume you. They cannot consume you. Hey! Have an expectation. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Jesus. By the mercies of God. By His mercy. Because of that, I have a song which I sing myself. I compose it. And I sing it this way. Just a short one. Wake up in the morning. Yes. I say, by the mercies of God, I am not consumed. By the mercies of, of God, God, I am not consumed. By the mercies of God, I am not consumed. I will praise, pray, hallelujah. By the mercies of God, by the mercy 
Saints of God, we are not consumed by the mercies of God. Expectation. This will be your song. You know you are never consumed. You know if you have an expectation from God, you know that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. You know, you know, you know. Every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, you shall condemn. So this morning I speak to you, I prophesy to you, uh, and I have an expectation that every tongue that is risen against you in judgment, I condemn. In judgment, I condemn. Every tongue that is risen against you from occultic side, from every demonic force, from evil people, from good people that is risen up against you. In judgment, you shall condemn. And I condemn them in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Have an expectation. No matter how many the promises of God, they are yes and amen. amen. Have an expectation. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Had he said it, he would do it. He would do it. Have an expectation. And Job, I love what Job said uh, before we go ahead. Uh, Job, 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 Job. Job said, uh, even when a tree kadabadaba sadaya, ikaboro bababaya kasandaya, ibrandorobo. Job 14, 7. Uh, for a tree has hope. If a tree is cut down, Yes. <laughs> it knows that it shall sprout up again. again. And that the tender branch shall not die. Shall not die. Shall not cease. Have an expectation. Even a tree has yes. expectation. Mm. That when you cut it. Uh, <laughs> today even when you are sick. Uh, have an expectation. Because by the stripes of Jesus. You were healed. Uh, have an expectation. If you are sick today. By the stripes of Jesus. You were healed. Uh, if you are sick today. Uh, he has given me power. To heal the sick. Uh, and today in the name of Jesus. Uh, receive your healing. Receive your healing. I have power to heal the sick. And he gave them power to heal the sick. Ayaka da sebele baka. Receive your healing now. Receive your healing now. Receive it now. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Receive. I receive. He has Thank given you, me. He has given Thank you Holy power. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you. When you read Luke 9, 1, Luke 10, is there. God has given us power to heal the sick. So I stand here as a servant of God. And I have power to heal the sick. Every sickness in you, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the fire of God, let it be burned in Jesus' name. Every power of the sickness disease, I set fire into it. I burn it in Jesus' name. And it's burned in Jesus' name. Amen. Have an expectation. It's burned. Have an expectation. It's burned. Have an expectation. It has disappeared. When you leave here, know it has disappeared. Know that it, it will not see this sickness. Have an expectation. Have an expectation. Have an expectation. Have an expectation. Moses saw the armies of Egypt coming against him. He was caught in a ticket. Mountains here, mountains here. Sea in front of him. The, the enemies behind him. He had no soul. He has nothing. But he had expectation from God. He told the people, stand still. He had expectation from God and see the salvation of the Lord. If you have expectation from God, uh, you speak to situations and circumstances that are above you. Uh, stand still uh, and see the salvation of the Lord. The Egyptians you see today, the sickness you see today, the troubles you see today, the pain you see today, the, 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 the single life you live you see today, you shall see them no more. Have an expectation from God. How can you see sickness and say, I'm healed? Well, not long ago, I wake up and I'm tired. And I know it's because of these travelings. You know, change of flying, flying, flying. I spent one week here and I flew almost, I spent 12 days, 10 days. I flew all over the place to the West Coast, to East Coast, to Midwest, to this, to this. 
and flew back to Ghana and flew back to Kumasi and flew back. So later on, I realized I've gotten tired. So one day I was lying on my bed. I said, <laughs> God, he goes, you are in me. This weakness cannot stay in my body. How? You are here. Can you stay with weakness? Those who have expectation from God, they speak to situation, they speak to circumstance. And as I said that, uh, the pain, the tiredness was there. But in a short time, uh, about two days time, uh, I didn't see it anymore. Hey, 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 have an expectation from God. Speak to your spirit, speak to your soul, speak to your circumstance, speak. Prophesy unto yourself. Prophesy to your situation and tell your situation to change. The challenge is that you don't have expectation. And you don't talk your expectation. Have an expectation from God. 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 An expectation from God. Don't let the pressures of this world detect to you. Speak to them. Speak to situations. Speak to <laughs> have an expectation from God. Whoever says to this mountain, whoever says to this mountain, be thou removed and be cast into the sea, it shall come to pass, and nothing shall be impossible for him. Have an expectation from God. Speak to your mountains, speak to your circumstances, and tell them to disappear. Tell them to go. Tell sickness to go. Tell poverty to go. Tell trouble to go. Tell everything to go. And if you don't doubt it, it shall come. Have an expectation from God. Say something. 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 Say, say, say. Let me see. Makoda bada bada. Moka bada. Noro bada. Take it. Take it, take it, take, 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 take. Have an expectation. When I touch you, have an expectation. When I shake you, have an expectation. Have an expectation that you have. <laughs> the Bible says, we shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. As I touch you, that is what God wants me to do. Recovery. From the crown of your head to the source of your feet. Leave him, 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 take it, 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost, take it, now, receive it, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we don't have time, closing time, closing, you should have given me enough time. Next time I come, please give me time. I don't want to take your time, but let me come early. You sing all the time, but sometimes today we will go with the, the administration because I'm late. We'll go ahead and we close. Oh, where? Oh, God. Where did we reach? So it was 47. Joe 14 verse 70. No, no, that one we are done. You know, when you cut a tree, you know, it shall come. We go back to the old scripture. Go, go, look one. Go to look one. We are closing. Luke chapter 1. Verse, verse 45. 40, 40, 45 coming down. Okay. Come on, come on, come No, go. Now, come to 51. Yeah. You are, you are good. We are, who said that? Come. Who said 51? Go. Yeah. Just stand there. Hmm. Stand there. Yeah. He had showed strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. <laughs> it's okay. You see, God has showed strength with his arm. Today, I prophesy to you, God will show strength in your life with his arm. Amen. He will scatter the proud in their indignation. 
out of their hearts. Yes, Anybody who has something against you, God says, uh, he, with his strong hand, uh, with, he shows strength with his hand. Uh, I see the strength of God's hand in your life. I see the strength of God in your hand. Oh, Mary had an expectation. Mm. So he said, uh, God has showed strength with his hand. He, he has scattered the, the proud in the, the imagination of their of heart. Their continue, heart. continue, my continue, God, continue. God, continue. God, go, 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 go. Ah. He, he had, had put, put down, down the mighty from their seas and, and exalted, exalted them, them of low them. degree. I prophesy to you today, God will put down the mighty tower. Any power of the devil in your life, God will put it down. He will put them down. He will put down the mighty from the Assisa. Hey, anybody who occupies Assisa, who is mighty on your office, at your workplace, God will put him down. Hey, hey, hey. God will put people down. He put for he put people down and lift people up. God will bring the proud people, people who think they are juju, people who think they are wicked. God is bringing them down. The wicked, he will bring them down. Down. The proud he will bring him down, and you will be exalted. 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 Receive the exaltation. Go. Go. He had filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he had sent empty away. Oh, I didn't hear a big amen. <laughs> you see, the rich, the hungry have been fed with good things. Anybody who is hungry, receive God. He will fill you with good things. God will fill you with good things. God will not withhold any good thing from yes, you. Lord, yes, Lord. But, but the rich. He has sent, sent them away, away empty. empty. Hey, ah. anybody bluffing you with his riches? Don't worry. God will send him away. God will send him away empty. God will send him away. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. They will be empty handed. Yes. Da, 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 da. Oh, Jesus. Mm. <laughs> They shall be empty. They shall be empty. <laughs> anybody think you will not marry her? They shall be empty. You receive your husband. Anybody, anybody who think that you will not make it, uh, he will not make it, but you will make it. Uh. So God is standing the tables. Say, God is standing the table. The rich will be sent empty, but you will receive good things. I prophesy good things to you now. Receive them in Jesus' name. 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 Lady. Come. Madam, you stand. But I'm closing, so when I close, you pray. Mm. See, we skip something, but this is where I want us to come. Mary meet Elizabeth. Say, Mary meet Elizabeth. Mary meet Elizabeth. Expectation meets expectation. These two people have been prophesied unto. Mary received an angel prophetic administration. Elizabeth also received a prophetic ministration. And the two people, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I have an expectation. Iron sharpness, iron. Deep, call it for deep. Have an expectation. You sit under in a prophetic ministry. And I prophesy to you when expectation meet expectation. When you meet the prophet, something in you will come out. Something in you will birth out. When Mary met Elizabeth, something happened. Yes. Expectation plus expectation. 
Come to church with expectation. Come to church with expectation. Sit in church with expectation. When expectation meets expectation, something happens. There is a performance. There is a miracle. There is a birth of something new. Today, if you have an expectation as I preach with you, uh, something new shall be birth in your life. Uh, something wonderful shall be birth in you. Uh, you receive something new. Uh, when you, if you have expectation, as the word of God is coming to you, uh, something new will come out from your life. There is something in you. Uh, it has not come out yet. Uh, eyes have not seen. Yes, have not heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of man. Uh, what God is about to do for you. If you have an expectation in this morning, something in you, something in you is going to shake her, uh, is going to move her. Uh, things in your life are going to move her. Uh. When Mary met with Elizabeth, both of them have been prophesied unto. So Mary traveled to find Elizabeth. When you have expectation, you will come to church. When you have an expectation, you love to hear the word of God. Amen. When you have expectation, you like to be around good people. Amen. When you have expectation, you will not be a lukewarm Christian. Amen. Mary, I've been to Israel before. Where Elizabeth was living, it was a hill country. That's how the Bible describes it. But this lady traveled to that hill country because the angel told Mary that your cousin Elizabeth at her old age <laughs> has is also conceived six months ago. If you want to marry, go around good people who are married. If you want to make money, go to God-fearing people who have made money. If you want to cast the fire, the anointing, uh, go, don't hesitate. Uh, go to the prophet, go to the man of God and receive, uh, and receive the power, and receive the anointing, and receive the Holy Ghost. Receive it. And Paul said, receive ye the Holy Ghost. He had the Holy Ghost, so he gave. And, and Peter and John said, silver and gold have I now. But such as I have, I give you. Hey, have an expectation. I have something for you today. Have an expectation. Silver and gold have I none. But such as I have, I give you. In the name of Jesus, sir. There shall be a performance of God where in your life. In the name of Jesus, be healer. In the name of Jesus, be delivered from evil. In the name of Jesus, be healer. Such as I have, I give her. In the name of Jesus, receive a miracle. Receive a miracle. Receive a miracle. In the name of Jesus, receive a miracle. Expectation met expectation. Wow. And they started talking. He said, when you open your mouth, when you have expectation, when the word of God is being read, something kindled in you. Your soul is tearing up. Even if a small boy is reading, Mary was older, older than Elizabeth. But when he told him, her, him, her, of what God has done, something in her came up. The baby in her womb leap for joy today 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 if you have an expectation the word of god that is coming to you something in you will live for joy uh. something in you will live for joy uh. the blessing in you will live for joy uh. the anointing of god will live for joy. something in elizabeth live for joy when you hear the word of god something in you shall live for joy have an expectation don't come when we are preaching. You don't know something will happen. I prophesy to you as I minister to you. Something has already happened in the name of Jesus. There shall be a testimony. Hey, two ladies. And Elizabeth started talking all what the things he said. My soul magnified the Lord. For the mother of the Lord has visited me. Yes, hey, 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 hey. The father of the prophet has visited you. Hey. Something will happen to you. 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 Something has happened already. In the name of Jesus, the mother of the Lord has visited you. You are favored. 
he saw that as a favor when the brother was talking, he was talking well. Uh, he was led by the spirit. You have found favor in the sight of God. He has found favor in the sight of God. You have found favor in the sight of God. The matter of the Lord has visited me. Today, the Holy Ghost has visited you. The power of God has visited you. The glory of God has come upon your life. Today, 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 the power of God has visited you. The mother of the Lord has visited me. As soon as the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Somebody, something in you is leaping for joy now. Something in you is sleeping for joy now. A blessing is sleeping for joy now. An anointing is sleeping for joy now. Breakthrough is sleeping for joy now. Healing is sleeping for joy now. Something in you. And he said this last thing which I close. Blessed is he who has believed the Lord would fulfill, blessed is he who have believed that the Lord would fulfill his promise to him. Anybody who believes that God's promise, God will fulfill it, you are blessed. Tell somebody you are blessed if you believe what God has promised you. He said, blessed is he who have believed the promise of the Lord. Somebody, tell somebody you are blessed, 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 you are blessed. When you go home, read this thing. Luke chapter, chapter 8. Numbers number 43 to 48. The woman with the issue of blood. He had an expectation. Sometimes when you are preaching, you say put money down. Some people had expectation. I always remember this lady in this church. She's no more here. One day I was preaching. And I said, somebody who have to, anybody who want to have a breakthrough, bring your last money. This lady told me that he had $300. He wrote the church, the check. I didn't see it. I didn't know. He put it down. And later on, I came, went, came back. He said, man of God, God has given him breakthrough for sowing that seed. Anybody who believes the promise of God, there shall be a performance. It shall come to pass. If God says, give, and I'll give you, don't hesitate. For if you believe, there shall be a performance. If you believe, there shall be a performance. If you expect God, there shall be a performance. God does not need your money. I always tell people, the church doesn't need your money. Because when we go to the filling, the prophet go to the filling station and he says that I'm prophet. Fill the gas. <laughs> and when they finish filling, Baba, and the prophet doesn't pay, what will happen to him? <laughs> if they fill the gas, fool. Prophet say, I'm a prophet. <laughs> they will call the police on him. <laughs> or at the end of the month, you don't pay for electricity. You say you are church. God have mercy. <laughs> or you go and these instruments are there. You say, I'm a church. I'm taking it away. <laughs> you start packing it. <laughs> you see police. <laughs> so the church needs money to do what it must do. It is not for individual sake. You see, the Muslims, they don't do fundraising, but they get money to fund things. Even when they are going to bury somebody in Accra, you cross them, oh, your car will be damaged. Hey! They are too committed even to bury somebody. We are not committed. We don't come to church. We don't do anything. We don't have any expectation. They know that even sometimes some of them think that they kill people, they will go to heaven. That is their expectation. That is their expectation. And they do it. Huh. One day we were going to uh, Kualibu Hospital and they were going to bury somebody. 
saw two small guys. They parked their motorbike. They said, stop, stop, stop. They get down and say, stop. If you don't stop, they beat your car. Everybody park. They took their dead to go and bury. Very serious people. Because they know that they are dead. That is their knowledge. The person they are going to bury, it to them is a saint. And you should give way for them to go and bury their dead. We, if prophet doesn't come, we don't come. We don't serve God because of what he gives us. But we serve him because he's God. Because he's well able to do everything for us. We serve God because he has all power. We serve God because he's a merciful God. We serve God for whom he is. Not because, because of what we will get. But unfortunately, Christians are serving God for what only we will get. It's only what we get. And I, some, these days I'm looking at the Muslims. How serious they are. And I look at us. We are joking. Jokers. I want to receive something. I want to receive something. Hey, you will receive it by all means. But be committed to the things of God. They are serious. Oh. If you don't take care. This morning I was listening to somebody who has converted. And you know what he told us? He said that when he got converted, they trouble. They told her we can kill you. They told her. Say you, you know, it is only in London that you are free. But if it's over there, we will kill you. And they troubled her. They gave her a uh, photograph to taxi drivers in the area. That if you see this lady going to any church, bring her to the house. We'll punish. The lady was, how? How they are serious to get people to serve Christ? For us, fanfare. Please, let's tell, tell somebody, let's change. Yes. By all means, God will bless us. But let's serve him. Don't, don't, you see, don't let the prophet labor in vain. He fasts, he prays, he does everything for you. And if he's going to minister somewhere, people say, we won't come. There are ministers here. There are powerful people in the congregation who can also preach. And God can use them. Respect the anointing on people's life. Respect the blessing on people's life. And you also, people will respect the blessing upon your life. Do unto others as you want them to do unto you. If you were a pastor and pastor, uh, bishop, uh, prophet travel, and, and even the prophetess is here. He say, we won't come. We don't respect the anointing in this house. There's an anointing in this house. There's an anointing in this house. There's an anointing in this house. Whether he's here or not, there's an anointing here. So tell the people who didn't come, they missed it. They missed it. They missed this blessing. They missed this expectation. They missed this message. They missed this anointing. They missed this breakthrough. They missed this healing. They missed this prophetic word of God. When you are coming to God, you don't know what he will do. Amen. The woman with the issue of blood, he had an expectation, brother. Even he will not be allowed to go to public. You can sometimes you get the opportunity to see the prophet. But have an expectation. Brother, have an expectation. Even when you see the past prophet car, have an expectation. When you see the singer singing, have an expectation. When you hear the name of Jesus mentioned, have an expectation. That at the mention of Jesus' name, every knee shall bow. Anybody who have an expectation, when you hear the name of Jesus, you know something has happened. A woman with the issue of blood. He said, if only, somebody say, if only. I can come to church. God will work a miracle in my life. If only coming to church, you will see a, it's an appointment with God. You will not miss it. You will not miss it. Sometimes I go to preach at a place, there are few people. And I say, Pastor said, we thank you for coming. I said, I know God is here. 
I know God is here. I know God is here. I know there's an anointing upon all the pastors and the elders and the deacons and the singers and the drum, everybody, and including you. There's anointing upon you. Give honor to whom honor is due. Even for prophet's wife's sake and the pastors. The man labor for you. Look, I'm sweating. When I go to my office, I don't sweat. But I sweat. Look at and, and if somebody prepare this message, I think you will not forget. Because from today, you will live in an expectation. Because when you meet somebody with expectation, something in you will come up. When you meet the men of God. But, but, then, but then, you have to wait upon the Lord. Listen to God. God will show you what to say, what not to say. And when Somebody prepared to come. He said, ah, I don't like this. Pick and choose. Are we in the restaurant? Are we in the restaurant? Brother, are we in the restaurant? Is it a pick and choose affair? Huh? When you go to the restaurant, they give you the menu. Pick and choose. What do you like? What do you don't like? By your car, you come to church with pick and choose. Who you want to listen to? Choose it today whom you will serve. If you are serving the Lord, serve him faithfully. And serve him all the time. And serve him whether rain or shine. Whether rain or shine, serve the Lord. And God will bless you. In my life, there are people who have helped me who are nobodies in business decisions. Sometimes they will say something and something jump in me. I sit up. Don't despise a small beginning yeah. of anyone. Hallelujah. Don't despise any anointing on people. Yeah. Sometimes I say something. I'm talking about something. One day a liberal told me. Oh, what you are saying, I won't listen. I said, ah, me, managing director. You liberal, you say what I'm saying, you won't listen. And he was working on me. I said, what's this? He said, you ask for you. You say it, but you won't act. So I won't listen. I said, you taught me wisdom. Or somebody will call it, I don't believe in common sense. Because it's too common that people don't value it. But I believe in the wisdom. In wisdom of what he said. This is a small boy. I said, from today, you are my friend. And he's my friend today. Because he taught me sense. That almost all the workers will know that I will come and talk and not act. You have something to learn from everybody, Pastor Chris. There's an anointing upon the man of God. Respect the anointing. There's an anointing upon him. There's an anointing. Respect everybody here. Amen. If Mary has said that Elizabeth was old, so you will mind. He's going to give birth. Then, if Elizabeth has not given birth to John the Baptist, would have said, who have pronounced him coming? Who, was, who should have cleared the way for him? So when expectation meets expectation, preparation is done, something happened, and every, it is a waiting for an appointed time. After 30 years, Jesus appeared at the place for baptism. And then John said, behold, the lamp of God that takes away the sins of the world. This is the lamp of God. Hey, the person you are looking down today will proclaim your victory. Who will celebrate you tomorrow. Be careful who you miss in life. If Mary has said that I am giving birth to the Messiah and this old lady is also giving birth, nothing will happen. Let expectation meet expectation. Come to church. Amen. Bring your offering. Amen. Do whatever you are supposed to do. Amen. I give expecting God to bless me. No man. Amen. So, I am done. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your blessings. Mary and Elizabeth had expectation. They came together. And there was a manifestation of your blessing. The woman with the issue of blood, he had a best expectation. He, if only he can touch Jesus, he will be healed. 
From today, give your people expectation. For the expectation is for few. Whoever comes here, Lord, bless him with an expectation that your mighty hand is upon them and damn things shall be manifested in their life. I give you glory. I give you honor. I give you power. I give you praise. From today, all generations shall call us blessed because we believe in your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. You know, I know that when I sow here, I am blessed. So, my usual seed of $1,000, I sow it. If you want to join me, you can join me. Because um, I know what I get. Please sit down. If you don't know something, see, you look at the example of somebody. Uh, somebody coming from Ghana, coming to preach. And he can give an offering of 1000 and they can put an offering of $100. I know whom I believe. Amen. Have an expectation. Even in the last hour, you bless my life. Receive it. Receive the blessings of God for your life. Amen. I release the blessings of God. Receive it. Receive it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it in the name of Jesus. Fire! Holy Ghost, fire! 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 At the usher, <laughs> madam. Take it. Fire, 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 fire. Bring her, bring her back. Mm. Da, 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 da. Mm. Take it. Take it. You are part of the ladies' ministry. What do you do? Mm -hmm. You are a ladies' ministry. Receive the anointing for financial breakthrough. Bring one of the books. The woman power. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. It's a blessing. Take it. It's a blessing. Take it. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, touch. Oh, no. It's a fire. It's a fire. Fire, 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 Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Fire, 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 fire. Take it. Take it. Fire in my hands. Fire in my hands. Fire in your bones. Take it. Check me. Check me. 
Catch the fire. 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 One. It's a strong fire. Fire. Mm. Take it. 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 Where's your husband? I refuse it. That's why you come to church. Hallelujah. Take it. Joy. Take it, take it. Madam, we are going, we are going, we are going, we are going. Take the fire. Catch the fire. Catch the fire. I call it done. Okay, fire. Fire, 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 fire. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. I break it. I break every yoke. I break every barrier. I destroy every weapon of the enemy against your life. In the name of Jesus, put your hands in this fire. Put it. Fire. There's fire here. There's fire here. There's fire here. Take it. There's fire here. Take it. Put the other hands. Put your hand. Fire. 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 It's bent to ashes. It's the soil. Take it. Hold it. Take 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 it. Hallelujah.